this Black Excellence series, we will highlight Melody Hobson, unapologetically Black and unapologetically a woman. Welcome to Black Excellence. This is where we celebrate Black excellence, achievement, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Melody Hobson is a very successful American businesswoman who is legendary for her extraordinary achievements within the finance industry. As one of many of her groundbreaking accomplishments, Hobson is CEO of the first Black-owned investment firm that currently holds almost $18 billion in assets. The Chicago native is a trailblazer who serves on the board of some of corporate America's top companies, and she's a proven education advocate who is committed to ensuring that all children have equal access to quality education. Melody Hobson wasn't born in a place of privilege or comfort. Actually, her environment was quite the opposite. Melody was born the youngest child of six children to single mother Dorothy Ashley on April 3, 1969. Dorothy was a hardworking entrepreneur who pursued a career in real estate, renovating, renting, and sometimes flipping condominiums. But things did not work out as she had planned. Sometimes shrewdness is a trait necessary to be a landlord, and shrewdness simply wasn't a trait that Dorothy possessed. She was very lenient on rent, and there were many occasions where she just didn't have the heart to evict her low-income residents. And once she ultimately decided to liquidate her properties, she was often penalized by redlining and racially biased appraisals. The family would face frequent evictions, phone disconnections, electricity cutoffs, and sometimes heated their bathwater on hot plates. Melody admits that she was traumatized by the string of events and at times, they were operating in basic survival mode. And although Melody and her siblings endured this tough upbringing, their mother instilled in them optimism, confidence, and independence. The instability and hard times on the gritty south side of Chicago served as an unintended inspiration for Melody Hobson. She was motivated to study and understand money, finances, and investments especially since it was something that her family did not know a lot about. And this ambition and formidable work ethic helped those around her recognize that Melody Hobson was marked for greatness from a very early age. And although there were numerous transitions from resident to resident, Hobson's mother managed to remain in neighborhoods where Hobson could attend the best public schools, stressing that education would propel her into a new world. As a member of a minority, she was very aware of her own Black identity, but she became keenly capable of forging close relationships with people from other classes and races, something she has managed to do consistently throughout her life and even today. After an impressive early academic career, she attended Princeton University's School of International Relations and Public Policy, where she earned her Bachelor of Arts in 1991. She would become the first in her family to finish college. Since she had interned at Ariel Investments during college, the investment firm offered Hobson a job. And from day one, she felt like she could work there for the rest of her life. Ariel's founder, John Rogers, became her mentor, inviting her into challenging and exciting spaces and boardrooms full of executives with lots of power and lots of money. He continuously encouraged her and emphasized that her opinions mattered and that her ideas were good. Rogers was so impressed by Hobson's professionalism, loyalty, and leadership that he named her president of the firm just nine years later, in the year 2000. With Hobson focused on running the business and Rogers focused on running the portfolios, they consider themselves equal partners in the leadership of the business and even best friends. Aerial Investments would thrive into one of the largest investment firms in the nation. Hobson would be named Ariel's co-CEO in 2019 and continue to serve in the president position. Meanwhile, its flagship fund, the 35-year-old $3.3 billion Ariel Fund, has one of the longest and best track records in its mid-cap value category, returning 14% a year on average over the past decade. Additionally, Ariel was an early adopter of integrating environmental, social, and governance factors and posts some very impressive numbers in the gender and racial diversity departments. Women and minorities represent 73% of its employees. 
In 2005, Hobson met Star Wars creator George Lucas, and eight years later, they were married at Lucas's Skywalker Ranch. About two months after their wedding, the couple welcomed a daughter via surrogate, Everest Hobson Lucas. Ms. Hobson is an established leader, not only at Ariel Investments, but as the chair of the board of Starbucks Corporation, making her the first black chair of a Fortune 500 company and one of the highest profile corporate directors in the U.S. She also serves on the board at Estee Lauder as director of J.P. Morgan Chase and as chairman of the board of trustees of the Ariel Investment Trust. Previously, Ms. Hobson served as chairman of the board of DreamWorks Animation and a board member of the Estee Lauder Companies. Her community and civic involvement is intensive and includes serving as chairman of After School Matters, a Chicago nonprofit, vice chair of World Business Chicago, co-chair of the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art, and a board member of the George Lucas Education Foundation and Bloomberg Philanthropies. Ms. Hobson is a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Rockefeller Foundation Board of Trustees, and serves on the executive committee of the Investment Company Institute. In the meantime, she started a public school in 1996 on Chicago's South Side that is named Ariel Community Academy. The school currently serves 500 students from pre-kindergarten through eighth grade, 98% of which are black. Using money provided by Ariel, the school has developed a curriculum that teaches investing in finances by granting each class $20,000 to manage. By the time the students are in sixth grade, they control the entire portfolio. She also founded the Black Corporate Directors Conference to ensure civil rights and diversity are addressed in corporate boardrooms. These days, Hobson is a significant shareholder in her company, Ariel Investments, and her stake is worth tens of millions of dollars. She and her husband signed the Giving Pledge, a promise to dedicate the majority of their wealth to improving education. Melody Hobson's dedication and leadership in the areas of corporate leadership, financial literacy, and diversity does not go unnoticed. Her prominence in the world of investing led to Time Magazine naming her one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2015. Hobson has received honorary doctorate degrees from Howard University, Johns Hopkins University, St. Mary's College, and the University of Southern California. In 2019, she was awarded the Princeton University's highest honor for her commitment to national service. Then in 2020, Princeton University unveiled plans to replace its oldest residential college, originally named after Woodrow Wilson, a known racist. Slated for completion in 2026, Hobson College will occupy a prominent place on Princeton's campus and in history as the school's first residential college named after a black woman. In June 2022, Hobson would tear down even more barriers when she joined the ownership group, taking over the NFL's Denver Broncos. Led by Rob Walton, a Walmart heir, the $4.65 billion deal makes Hobson the first black woman to be part of the original ownership group buying an NFL team, and she will likely have a major role in the running of the franchise. Although Hobson relishes her role as a trailblazer for both women and black Americans in her field, she also admits that it is not often easy. She says she refuses to be defined by race or gender, yet she feels that some people still judge her that way on a regular basis. But Hobson is clearly driven by her experience growing up poor in Southside Chicago, yet she is also cognizant of her role as an intelligent personification of what it means to be Black and successful. She has used both financial and emotional intelligence, along with a bit of obsessive work ethic, to become a mogul who moves effortlessly among different industry, racial, and class settings. We salute you, Melody. Keep doing your thing. Success is contentment to me. And that contentment comes in all sorts of forms. I see it in my six-year-old's face that gives me a tremendous amount of contentment. And I say success when I see that face. Success is having a life partner that I cherish so much. Success is being able to work with people who are not just people, they're family to me. John Rogers is Everest's godfather. And success is really looking back 
at any day, any week, any month and saying, what did I get done? And feeling good about it, be it for our clients at Ariel, be it for the boards that I'm on, be it for society, my teammates, what did I get done? I think about that all the time because we got one shot at this life and to not be productive with what we have been given to me is a travesty. We appreciate the fact that you stayed until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.